This workout is all about ankle mobility and strength. Take your time throughout the movements and feel free to hold on to a wall, a chair, or the floor for additional support as needed. We're going to start by walking on our toes, heels raised. Next, we're raising the toes and walking on our heels. Shake it out if you need to. Next, we're standing on one foot, holding here as stable as we can. Other side. Lower down, feet together, toes slightly apart. We're going to lift and lower the heels 20 times with as much control as possible, avoiding using momentum in a rocking motion. Next, we're floating the left foot, moving to single leg heel raises on the right 10 times. Both feet down, let's repeat on the left 10 times. Shake it out as needed. Next, we're going to pump the heels, alternating sides, raising up onto the toes. Now drawing circles one foot at a time, one way then the other, being very careful not to over rotate. Next we're going to keep the heels grounded as we walk out the front of the feet working our dorsiflexion, lifting the top of the foot towards the shin.
balance on your left foot, hug the right knee in and rotate the right ankle one way. Then the other. Release and repeat on the other side. Rotating one way. Then the other. Release, turning to the side, step to a high lunge with the leg closest to your screen forward, leg furthest from your screen back. Arms up, back heel raised, pulse lunges 10 times. Focus on moving with as much control as possible. and step back to a downward facing dog, walk out the heels. Still in this position, we're going to come up onto our tiptoes, then lower the heels as much as we can eight times. Step the foot furthest from your screen forward and repeat those pulse lunges with the opposite leg forward 10 times. Rotate to a low side lunge, focusing on flattening the foot of the extended leg as much as possible, actively reaching the outer edge of that foot down to the floor. If you can, lower the heel of the opposite foot all the way down. Hands can come ahead of you or stay down for balance. Let's shift over to repeat that on the opposite side, again actively reaching the outer edge of the extended foot down as much as possible. Shifting through low side lunges a few times side to side. making your way to a kneeling position, knees and feet together, tops of the feet flat, sitting back on your heels.
Still kneeling, curl your toes under and sit back on your heels. Raise the knees, balancing on your toes. Hands can stay down for support or reach forward to challenge yourself further. With as much control as possible, raise to standing still on your toes. Once standing, lower your heels and step your feet hip width apart. Keep your feet flat, leaning into the front of the foot as you bend your knees, pushing your shins towards your toes. You can work to move lower and lower, avoiding a squat where your hips would push back. Keep your weight forward, working your dorsiflexion. On the next one, bring your feet together, lower your hips as low as you can and hug your knees, keeping the heels flat if possible. Next, arms forward for balance. We're going to send our knees forward, coming to kneeling, then shift our weight back to that crouched position five times, controlling the movement as much as possible. Last one. Come forward to hold a kneeling position with your toes curled under, sitting on your heels. Shift to a seated position with your legs extended ahead of you. Flex your feet, floating your heels. Point the toes. Flex the feet. Point the toes. Moving more quickly now, flex and point. Draw circles one way. Then the other. And finish up by moving the ankles around or shaking them out as needed.